Hello and welcome again to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Track, and let's do it. Alright, so this is obviously part two of our big update. Three blasters were mentioned in the Wired article. It was very short. It didn't cover a whole lot, but this is the other one that we haven't talked about so far. So this is the Raptor Strike, and this is the actual Mac daddy -o of the AccuStrike line. And it's, it's cool. It's overshadowed by how super duper cool the Modulus Blaster is, but this is pretty cool. So first off, remarkably huge shell. Almost obnoxiously huge shell. We've got the same flip up thing that we had going on on the Falcon Fire, but the Raptor Strike is going to be really, really large. It's got the same sort of foregrip here, the same sort of super comfy handle, and a stock that looks like it's supposed to be like an adjustable sniper stock, but will just be one solid piece of plastic. However, it does hold a magazine in its in its stock, which is very nice. That's a cool feature, but that's the most exciting thing about the Raptor Strike. And the reason that I'm viewing this one in actual photo viewer mode is because I wanted to be able to zoom in and show you that this is going to hold AccuStrike darts, but all in Strike magazines hold AccuStrike darts. So what makes that particularly special? Well, it's special because it looks like a sniper clip or a sniper magazine or clipazine or whatever. Like, it, it looks really, really cool in my opinion. This angled drop here, the semi-transparent smoking material, like, I think that this is somewhere between like what Worker would design and what Nerf would design if they wanted to make a sniper magazine. And so, I think that it looks really, really good and I'm excited that it comes with two of them. And it better come with two of them because it has storage for one and it's going to cost 50. United States dollars, which is quite a lot for what simply amounts to a, a magazine fed Springer. But we've got a very innovative uh, magazine release here. It's kind of locked into this well here. It's almost hard to see, but this is the trigger and this is the magazine release. Now we do have a bolt, Facebook notifications because I'm a scrub. Um, we do have a bolt here, which is going to allow you to prime the blaster, but the stroke is not quite as long as it, it could be. So like, as opposed to, say, the Centurion, which had a monster stroke here, and the bipod. This is very, very similar to that in the Raptor Strike. It comes with a bipod, although I think the bipod is going to be detachable on this one. It, I suppose it's also detachable on the Centurion. We have a full-on sniper for our AccuStrike line. So, um, what does that mean? Well, it means that they cost roughly the same, but this one's Mega and this one is AccuStrike, so it kind of depends on which dart you'd like more. I really do like the form factor of the Raptor, <laughs> Raptor Strike, which is good because while I'm sure this will be a fine springer in its own right, the thing that really, really matters here is how it's going to look modified and what we can do with this shell because the shell is what's kind of important here. So I think Coop made this a while ago. This is his uh, Striturian or, or whatever he called it, but integrating a strife into the Raptor Strike is the first thing that I'm going to want to do with this shell. Like I think that that is definitely the way to play it. Or maybe I can kind of see lines for a hyper fire as well. It's hard to say immediately, but that is uh, kind of my opinion on the the raptor strike not a whole lot to talk about here it's just not a super duper exciting blaster and it doesn't have a lot of meat to it it's a bolt action springer that's accu strike flavored i do think it's really interesting that everything is so far back here in terms of the controls and yet the magwell and the uh, bolt are so far forward up here so i think that this is going to be a reasonably large distance and that's going to make all of this dead space up here at the front a little bit awkward. So I'm not sure if this one's actually a buy at 50 United States dollars. I do hope that this cheek rest is, rest is actually squishy. But I think that it's cool and I'm glad that it exists. I personally prefer the revolver rifle that is the uh, the Alpha Hawk. But also neat that they kept the, the bird nomenclature, giving this one a, a raptor or a beard of prey. Uh, not to be confused with apes of the hamburger. As we go through, uh, this is the twin shock. This is just a high-res photo of it. This is We finally got media images, but uh, Hartley has had his in China forever, so I don't think that this is particularly special to us. I will make um, a slightly more informed video on this at Toy Fair as well, but that was also in the Wired article, and then I did want to let you guys know, because you keep 
keyboard warrioring me in the comments telling me to get this done. It's done. The video is coming, guys. I've just got to finish with uh, some light modifications that I'm doing to the the hoppazine up top, but um, no, it's it's good. It's it's sweet and it looks great, and the modifications are super simple. You're gonna love the video. Don't worry about it. And then I want to let you guys know that I will be streaming tonight Hearthstone on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv backslash vampire drag. And I will make a special announcement about that, but I'm going to try and start the stream at, I think, like 9, 9.30ish um, Eastern time in the United States. And so that should be really exciting. And in an effort to like actually submit for partnership at Twitch and get you guys to like actually watch my Twitch because I want you guys to hang out with me on Twitch, I will be giving away a Southeast Nerf Club patch to one viewer at random at some point in the stream. I'll probably let my moderators handle that, but we will come up with a fair, probably random way to pick uh, one of the viewers in the stream and hopefully we just have a great time doing that So that'll be going on tonight. Can't wait to give away a patch I will mail it at my own expense and I'll see you guys there, but let's uh, sling some digital cardboard together Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this update on the Raptor strike and I will catch you guys later on uh, Today with the stream and then tomorrow with probably that modification guide because I know you guys are chomping at the bit to get at it See you then much love, Nerf on Drek out.